Good morning, this is Paul, and thanks for checking out Sumo Citrus, also known as Decopon. This is a variety of Satsuma Orange that is a hybrid of Kiyomi Orange and crossed with Pokan, which is also known as the Chinese Honey Orange. It was created in 1972 back in Japan, and it's known to be sweet, large in size as you can see, large protruding bump, which they call the top knot, which I find very interesting. It's kind of a side effect of hybrids being hybridized. And this was imported to both California and Australia in the late 90s, early 2000s. It's a very interesting looking fruit, or citrus fruit, I should say. And now it's been sold, or now it is sold as Sumo Citrus, as you can see here. There's lots of great information on their website. I find it very interesting, and it's a well done website, so check it out at sumocitrus.com. Now you can see here, I found them at my local Trader Joe's for $2.29 each. And that's rather expensive, but I understand it took 30 years to create these. And the trees are very slow to mature, and also they're a challenge to grow from what I understand. Now, appearance-wise on the fruit, there could be some blemishes, see down here? And that does not affect the flavor. So they're just a bit sensitive, and as they develop, they can get some blemishes, but that's only on the exterior. The interior of, and the fruit is going to be perfect. It doesn't change the flavor at all. So I'm really excited to brix these with a brix refractometer here so we can see what percentage of sugar content is in this fruit. So let's go ahead and eat this one. You can see how easy they are to peel. It's absolutely one of the best things about it. There's a little bit of blemish there, see? But it's not going to affect the fruit in any form. Now, I'm not sure if it's possible to grow this variety at your house, so I haven't looked into it yet, but I'm really motivated to try to find some. So I'm going to look for deco pond trees in Southern California, and hopefully I can find some. So again, you can see the benefits of this fruit. It's really easy to open, easy to peel, and the best thing about it is that it's totally seedless. I've yet to have a seed. If I do find one, I'm going to definitely plant it. So hopefully I'll find one one of these days. I read online that it is possible with cross-pollination that you could find an occasional seed in this fruit. And this is easily my favorite citrus. It's amazing. It's just so balanced. It's sweet. juicy. The flavors are indescribable in my opinion. It kind of reminds me of honey and a bit of citrus. Mm. Absolutely delicious. Okay, let's see what type of sugar content is in this fruit. Let's calibrate it using distilled water. To remove that water. And I'll cut this and squeeze out some of the fruit, or some of the juice, I should say. I wonder what this citrus would taste like juiced. Better be pretty good. Mm. Okay, the moment of truth. 16.6% of this fruit is sugar. So that's a great, great score. I mean, even for red flesh dragon fruit, which we like to eat and review as well on our channel, so it breaks about the same percentage. Just a gorgeous, delicious fruit. These are available from about January to April, and then you have to wait the rest of the year to find them again. So there you go, Sumo Citrus. I give it two thumbs up. I would give it a nine and a half out of 10. It's one of my favorite. It's just a gorgeous, delicious fruit. All right, give us a like and a subscribe. Thanks so much for your time. Have yourself a wonderful day. Take care.